Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is a little different than usual. It's actually going to be kind of an assortment of footage from a few different projects, all of which are custom pick guards and all of which are for people who have ordered them from me. Uh, they're pretty cool, bit of a variety. And you may be asking, why would I put up a video like this? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's finally happened. The website is ready-ish at least. Uh, and now I can sell custom pick guards. So you're going to see me cut a few. You're going to see me put some patterning work onto them and stuff like that. Um, and for those of you who are interested, you can go to angoveguitars.com and take a look at what we currently have. Those designs that are on there are the stock options and I will be putting out new ones as time progresses, but we've also got a design your own and a contact us option so that you can get something truly custom if you want. I mean, they all are, they're all built here. They're all cut out with our machinery here and patterned by hand if that's what you want or grain patterned or all of that. Um, take a look, lots of options, colors, your own configuration for controls. We can do, we can do uh, whatever you want in terms of pickup configuration. A lot of it can be selected stock and then you can put in your own options at the end in the card. In an upcoming video at some point here, I'll do a little run through the website on how to do all this stuff. Um, but as many of you already know, because I've done it for you, you can also send me a scan of your pick guard and we can do something custom for, for you if you have a guard that's not already one of the options that we have. I'm slowly kind of increasing the collection there, getting more options for people with different types of guitars. For now, you can see there what we've got available. So let's get into some footage of some of these cool guards that I'm making for people. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, angoveguitars.com, I'll put a link in the description. Let me know what you guys think. And if you got feedback on the website, I don't know how to build the website. Uh, it was kind of a pain. It took a ridiculously long time. So if you've got feedback, let me know. Happy to hear it. Not sure I'll be able to implement it, but yeah, happy to receive it. Thanks guys. Enjoy the footage. The material we're working with in today's video is aluminum. We also do pick guards out of rusted mild steel for kind of an interesting look, although it's a lot heavier, uh, brass, copper, and a number of other things, including acrylics. But for today, we're working on some aluminum ones. That's the most popular. That's the one that I do most of the cool patterning work with. And uh, yeah, that's what we've got here. So first step is is cutting it. And just a quick bit of footage here, just handheld stuff. This is my like how it's made type thing. Uh, that's done with a water jet. Next up, we gotta kind of clean it up. Sometimes we put a little uh, little grain pattern in and stuff like that, although that's not really done by hand like this, but just cleaning it up, getting any watermarks and stuff off and getting it ready for patterning, assuming it's get, getting patterning. Now this particular one, I took over and grained after, uh, and this was a specific custom order, really cool one for a guy named Aaron. Um, he, he had a really interesting vision in mind for this, and luckily it happened to be something that I've done before on a larger piece of metal art, and that's kind of a flame pattern. Now, I, this isn't a tutorial on metal art by any stretch. It's not a tutorial on how to do these pick guards. Uh, I believe actually I've been saying since, you know, years ago that I wasn't going to do a tutorial on this kind of thing. You know, it requires some specific equipment, um, gets pretty in-depth, and, and frankly, it's, it's kind of a secret, and that's <laughs> to an extent the idea, and there are other people who, of course, know the, the secret and, uh, and sell art in this format but anyway this isn't a metal art tutorial that's that's basically what I'm trying to say there although uh, doing one would probably require multiple parts because there's a lot to know about how this stuff works and all the different things that you can do with it anyway I, uh, that's enough of a digression for now this is going to be a flame pattern so it's it's done in multiple stages uh, it's gonna be two colors one for the flames one for the background but personally, I think it looks awesome with no color on it. Just the way it is right there. I've spent enough time kind of looking at flame and studying how, how it presents itself for the purpose of doing true flame jobs and stuff like that. If you're looking out for a tutorial on that, Mike Lavallee did a couple of DVDs on it uh, that were fantastic. And if you're looking for a tutorial on, on candy paints in general, which are what was used for true flame and, and what uh, present, what is used for a lot of metal art. Dan Power did an eight hour DVD set on that as well. I've, I've watched both of those trying to learn how all of this stuff works uh, and figured out a lot of it in other ways. And 
I recommend those. Dan Power from Australia, the, the owner of DNA Paints, his his candy video, his eight hour tutorial is fantastic. But of course, you do have to buy the DVDs for that. And then the same goes for Mike Lavallee's work. Uh, may he rest in peace. He did some fantastic stuff and was the pioneer of that system. Getting back to what I'm doing right here, this is the back plate. Uh, so I'm, I'm putting in a, an interesting little pattern on that as well. And then I'm going to paint in my black. And this one's, yeah, it just taped off. The taping on this was a, a very interesting experience. Maybe I should do a little tape removal video uh, for Instagram. Those seem to be popular for some guitar builders peeling paint or tape off of their bindings. But you'll see the, the tape removal here in a moment. And you can see what it looks like with just the black background and the pattern section for the flame. So, of course, this can be done with kind of any patterned image or whatever, but uh, the flames itself are kind of abstract. So that's what makes them very interesting for this type of thing. I really like how this is looking at this point. Uh, personally, I was a huge fan of just the brush pattern with the flames over top, and I think I'll probably have to do some more guards that are similar to that, although maybe not with the flames themselves, unless that in particular is uh, requested or ordered. So that's what that looks like. I got a couple more pieces to pull off here, and then I'll show you guys how the back plate looks as well with this one, and we'll move on to the color for it. I have, uh, contrary to what I was saying a moment ago, I have actually been considering putting together on Patreon a tutorial on how to do these metal uh, art pieces and not just pick guards if you've been following me for a long time you'll know I do some metal art panel work and stuff like that um, and I've been thinking about doing a multi-part series on how exactly that works the different things that you can do with it the stuff that you need to keep in mind that you wouldn't necessarily know uh, if I just kind of gave you the the 20 minute version I've been thinking about doing that but it would probably yeah it would have to be on patreon because First of all, it would have to be quite in-depth so that uh, things don't go wrong. And second, the amount of time and money I invested in figuring out how to do this stuff is pretty much insane. So it almost feels proprietary in a sense. But if anybody's actually interested in that to the extent that they would uh, actually want to go on Patreon and watch it, let me know. Um, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll move forward with that. It would take uh, a while to produce those videos, but... If there's enough interest, I probably will do so. So moving on here, I'm, I'm using kind of a different method to, uh, this is a completely different pick guard, of course, and I'm using kind of a different method to clean this one up, a different tool entirely. You will have seen uh, on the last one just what it looked like without the clear coat, but afterward I had to go and clear coat it and polish it and all of that, and it has now been shipped to uh, the new owner, who I understand Hasn't received it yet, but from the photographs, is quite pleased with it. So that's always good. Um, so this one got a different uh, cleanup method, and then I've kind of switched what I'm working with a little bit, and now I'm putting in um, the linear patterning with kind of a different technique than I was using before. And next up, I'm going to do a little bit of accenting work on it. And this was actually shipped to the individual who purchased my great guitar build off entry it's for one of his Stratocasters uh, his name is Brad Hutchings if you haven't uh, seen his stuff before he's got a Trubify channel and I think he may also have a YouTube channel but either way he's also got Instagram so feel free to check him out on Instagram if you want to see pictures of all the cool guitars that he has or Trubify if you want to see his covers and stuff um, I haven't spent a lot of time on there but it's an interesting platform and it's apparently great for that type of work so these plates are going to him, and I think he is also quite happy with them. These have actually been shipped out, and he has received them and has put them on his guitar as far as I know. So um, doing a little bit of accent work to kind of give this thing more than just a standard linear pattern, and there we go. She's done. This is just one last kind of project that I was working on, one last set of clips. Um, this is a a custom set of Telecaster guards and a plate. So those are two different guards, of course, but that plate works with both of them. Uh, it kind of slots in there in an interesting way. It looks a little different than the standard, but accommodates the standard controls. And as you can see, these are being painted blue. These are actually just in my stock right now. They're not for anyone in particular, but 
put in a nice transparent blue on there uh, and those will be getting some clear coat shortly. This particular design isn't on the website yet, but it's one that I've just developed and I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe so you can see what I end up doing with the rest of these guards. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you next time.